Good afternoon, thanks, it's, it's great to be here. Uh, following my medical school and business school training 17 years ago, um, I've been investing in healthcare technologies and have had a particular interest in ophthalmology, but it's been very interesting to me over these years to see that there hasn't been much innovation in ophthalmology in terms of the way that we deliver therapeutics to patients. And what I'm referring to with that is the fact that uh, most of the therapies, especially for the front of the eye, are delivered through very antiquated bottles. Now, they work relatively well, but there are some clear drawbacks uh, to the bottles uh, that are used today uh, to deliver these drops. Namely, they're difficult to use. So I think we've all had uh, patients where we, uh, the office staff can't get a drop in. If we have children, they're very difficult uh, to get drops into their eyes. And even with ourselves, it's difficult to get drops in the right way. And uh, Dr. Uh, Dick Lindstrom this morning, in fact, in one of the breakout sessions was citing a study that showed 92% of patients post-cataract uh, administer drops incorrectly. So despite what seems to be simple, it, it's difficult to deliver. Another thing is that the, the, uh, the droppers deliver too much. So the eye holds less than 10 microliters, but most drops are, are well above 50 microliters. So what happens is the drops uh, come down the cheek, uh, they get absorbed into tissues, they go down the nasal lacrimal duct and are swallowed. And this may not seem like a big deal in most cases, but for therapies that can have systemic side effects, that can actually lead to some problems. And uh, we can see that especially with many of the glaucoma medications out there. And then finally, compliance in ophthalmology has always been difficult. Even if the patients are taking these therapies as instructed, they may not, getting it in, they may not be getting it in correctly, and it's difficult to know whether what you have prescribed is actually being delivered to the eye. So those are the problems, and so the natural solution to that is inkjet printing, or that's what we think. And that's what the unusual thing here is. Inovia is taking known problems with the droppers and using ink inkjet technology, piezoelectric technology, to actually print drugs onto the eye. And in addition to that, um, it can actually put a charge on it that is opposite to the charge on the cornea. So there are two advantages uh, that come off very quickly with this. First is you can deliver micro doses, so you can go under 10 microliters, so deliver only what is necessary uh, for the eye and what the eye can hold. And then two, you can do it very precisely and put a charge on it so that it sticks to the eye and doesn't go off and, and get swallowed um, or drip down the cheek. Um, this is, is something that we think is, is very important and can be uh, a real uh, game changer out there. Um, it also comes with electronics. Um, I'll show it to you right here, actually. It's an electronic uh, piece of equipment, and you look into the little blue light there, and you click, and the microdose comes right out. Um, and when you go into the doctor's office, you can actually download how often the patient has been taking the medication. So we think it'll have some real uh, compliance advantages as well. If you look at microtherapy, um, historically it has been shown, I won't spend time on this, uh, that uh, delivering micro doses results in less of the drug in the blood and that it reduces the uh, systemic side effects. And the strategy for the company going forward is to take existing drugs uh, that may have some side effect profiles that are less than ideal and enable them to be delivered through this microtherapeutic approach. And we also think there's a real advantage for combination therapies in particular. So if you look at combo therapies out there, several companies have combo therapies that are approved outside of the US, but in the US for a combination therapy, you actually have to demonstrate that it has advantages over administering the drops uh, individually, and that has been difficult for companies. Uh, we believe with this approach that uh, we will be able to show systemic, uh, a drop in the systemic side effects and therefore have a better safety profile enabling FDA approval.